Okay, so I'm going to be demoing, uh, actually, doing a tutorial on an Android box setup. The uh, model is the uh, Max Esla S905X, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gig storage. In terms of the cheaper, low-end boxes, this is the best one I've used. It's uh, fairly thin, a little bit bigger than some of the other the A95X ones like that, but it uh, runs much better than any of those. And I keep all my uh, APKs and stuff on a flash drive, easier than uh, having to download it all on the box. These initial setup screens are going to vary from box to box, but they're all pretty straightforward, so usually involves just picking your language. A nice one on this will ask, actually ask you to pick your time zone, so you don't have to do it after the fact. And then of course your screen zoom, which a lot of people don't know how to fix, and a lot of places I go to they have it stretched out too far or within the too far inside the screen. So this is how the home screen looks on this box. Uh, it's pretty basic looking, but uh, it runs well. So our time zone and everything is fixed. Our uh, zoom on the screen. So I'm going to go right into the app installer, right here. Pick the flash drive, and like I said, I keep all my apps here. So I'm going to install the important ones. Cody, of course. Terrarium is a good one. Showbox, Freeflix is one I just. Uh, I just seen tweeted about this morning. I had it before, but uh, this is a newer version, 2231. There's a lot of them out there if you poke around. Of course, the basics. This is totally up to yourself what apps you want to put on. Then we're just going to hit menu up here and say install. On some boxes, when you check the apps and go to install, it'll give you a pop up mask if you want to allow Google to do some updates. That's fine, I usually just say okay to that. Looks like it's probably not going to ask me that. This can take a little while depending on how many apps you got. Another thing, of course, that I didn't input any Wi Fi information because I have the box hardwired to my uh, router, and I recommend you do the same if possible at all. It's one thing when you're streaming from uh, Netflix, you know, a legitimate company, but a lot of the places you're streaming from on these boxes, uh, you don't know where it's coming from. Could be pretty shoddy connections, so you want as strong connections as you can to make sure you're not stuck buffered a lot. Okay, so now once the apps are installed, we're going to want to create shortcuts for them. Again, this home screen varies from box to box, but usually you have a bottom row here where you can put your shortcuts. On some box you can change the bigger icons as well by holding OK and it'll ask you to replace it. But you can't do that on these, or not that I found out. Not by that method anyways. So I'm going to replace the uh, icons we have there. And put the uh, important stuff there. So now we have all the shortcuts made, we're going to set up our Kodi. There's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, of course, for some people you may just be using Kodi for your own locally stored content. That's probably unlikely though if you're watching this video. Uh, so of course, you can manually find some add-ons and install them. That's uh, a bit tedious. Easiest way to do is just install a build. So you can Google around, find a build that's good for you, got the content that you want, and uh, I'll show you now how to install it. The easiest way, if you look at the instructions for a lot of them, they'll tell you to go into Kodi, add a source, get the URL. To me, again, I, I like to do as much as I can on the computer and then just put it on the flash drive. If you go to the URL that's listed in the instructions on your computer or any browser, you can usually download the zip file for the build, and then that makes things a little easier. That's what I have done. So under add-ons here, I'm just going to go to my add-ons. I'm going to press the two dots at the top here to go up a page and now install from zip file. 
So that's going to give me a warning. So I'll say settings, enable unknown sources, go back. If you're using a mouse like me, by the way, right click will take you back. So now we can install from zip file. So I got my flash drive, and there's the wizard. This simplifies things a lot. This is the Cosmic Saints wizard I found a couple weeks ago. I'd previously been using. Uh, now I can't even remember the name. <laughs> yeah, previously I've been using Man Cave Wizard, and I had a really good build on there, but the uh, guy who was doing it took a leave of absence. So most of these wizards all work the same when you install them it'll usually offer to take you right to the build menu so you usually say okay on that and then you can pick through them so in this case this wizard has a lot of different builds some have adult stuff some don't I'm gonna go ahead and install the first one here which has adult content again that's at your discretion I do find this wizard to be a little slower than uh, some of the other ones to operate though maybe it's because there's so much content so it's going to either ask you to fresh install or standard install. I'm going to say standard. Uh, fresh install if you already have stuff installed on Kodi, if you already have a build installed or a few add-ons. Best to go to fresh install, but in this case we've got nothing that's a fresh install anyways. So a standard install is fine. So just confirm that. And then it'll download. Again, I mentioned having plugged in directly to your router. Uh, if you're on Wi-Fi, you have a weak connection. With a lot of these wizards, if you're getting a poor signal and a slow download speed, you can see I'm getting 3 megabytes a second here now, but if you're getting under 300 kilobytes, especially under 200, the downloads will fail a lot of the time. But in this case, we're getting a really good speed here, and uh, this won't take long. But yeah, the good thing about these Max Ezla boxes is uh, they come completely de-bloated. There's nothing installed on them, just Android, that's it, and the very, very bare minimum. So uh, that's a lot of the reason why they run so well, I think. A lot of boxes you buy, they'll come with Facebook and Skype and stuff that you'll never use. And some of it will uh, clog up things in the background. and but these run really smoothly. So with these wizards, uh, once this second stage is done, it'll usually ask you if you want to either reload profile or force close. I usually go with the force close. It'll warn you that if you try to reload profile, it might uh, it might crash. And in my experience, that's usually what happens. So I just usually go ahead and force close. So it'll ask me to do that now. And there it is, force close, way to go. Now we're back to our home screen. So we'll just reopen Cody again. And here's your build. Now you have to give it a minute. It has to download the, uh, or update the add-ons. Make some changes and stuff. So you give it a couple minutes, you'll see the progress bar show up. It's best not to touch anything until that's done. Usually if you start trying to move things around before that goes through, it'll crash. This build has a lot of content, but it's a pretty small download, as you might see on the RSS feed on the top of the screen. Which helps. Some builds are just overloaded with too much junk and it really slows things down. So you see now we're getting a pop-up here saying, Skin Shortcuts Building Menu. So we want to wait until that's done before we try to uh, go ahead and do anything. I'm not really a fan of the RSS feeds. You can go into the settings and disable that if you like. You just need to go into to the uh, interface settings to disable that. So now we're good to go. I'll just... Uh, you can change the weather information if you like. If you go into... Uh, we'll just go into system here. 
and interface I'm pretty sure other we can disable the RSS feed if we like again uh, maybe you like to keep the news there I'm not a fan so and now we're good to go so you can see there's different sections here movies TV shows sports whatever all our other apps are installed so we're good to go I am just going to quit nice thing about this box as well you have a power button right here on the home screen so if you're using a keyboard or something you can power it off without needing the uh, bundled remote so that's it everything is good to go again some things will change from box to box but in terms of how you install your apps the app installer is different on some boxes most of them use the same app installer I used here other ones have a slightly different interface but uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble if you need any help make sure to comment and I'll uh, usually get back to you as soon as I can